Hey, was this working? Hell yeah, it looks like it's working. All right, boys, we are be doing a fucking vegan versus meat eaters. What is the ideal diet? Fucking, fucking reaction, bro. Because I, I got some shit to say about some vegans. All right, let's play First shit. statement. All right. Hey, I play big factor in my eating choices. Fuck yeah, dude! I don't fucking just eat shit because I don't want to. Dude, hell yeah! I'm trying to enjoy okay, this shit. All right, I'm I skipping all these. That humans are the top of the food chain. Damn right we are, brother. Damn fucking right we are. What the fuck do you mean? Is a human at the same level of equivalence as like uh, a fish? Right. Is probably a big reason I'm not vegan anymore. Right. Rather than eat the. Okay, I'm just here to I fucking bitch at the vegans. My name's Steve Michelski. I was a vegan for a year. I think we kind of shrugged off. Uh, yeah, I like this too. I don't even see like what is like a food. What chain is a food I'm chain, <laughs> bro? It's whoever the fuck can kill the person under. Or not even person, animal. You know, creature under them. If you're telling me we're not on top, tell me where the fuck all these animals get their guns from, brother. Because I want to know an animal with a gun shooting motherfucking sh eating them. Ain't no fucking monkey out there shooting people getting guns. Ain't no fucking giraffe over in goddamn Sahara shooting motherfucking people and eating them. Because we got the motherfucking guns. Because we got the brains to make them. That's not some construct. Bro. You look like a fucking dude who smokes pot day, and you're just like, oh, 9-11 was an inside job. All right, I'm getting a little too close. I, I got no problem with pot, pot smokers. But this dude looks like he's on the fucking, like, cloud nine of all the fucking eclipses, brother. There. I don't think it's a question of whether we're at the top. I think it's a question of what do you do with that? What do you do? You, you fucking kill things that make you taste, that taste good to you, brother. Okay. I'm going to be eating some chicken because it tastes fucking good. More conscious and Not because it's fucking healthy, animal. it's because it tastes good. Fucking shoot him. Alive, or do you choose to live in love? Yeah, do you choose to live in love? Let's let, let's go down to my comment. Let me just go on. You know, become great friends with that lion over in Africa that eats fucking water buffalo. We'll explain what a food chain means and everything, man. Yeah, what the fuck do you mean you live in harmony and love, bro? With the fucking lions and shit, dude. There's like fucking dude. I do have a rock dog. He's a fucking precious little dog. But if he was not trained well, he could be a very vicious dog. Like, when, when we play, he can get over the top sometimes. You have to chill it out and just reset and play again. But, if you just go a thousand miles an hour and say it's an untrained Rottweiler, he will fucking chomp your arm off. And that has nothing to do with, oh, why are you talking about lions in Africa? Because, bitch, that's a good excuse for a fucking crazy-ass animal. Guess what? If a Rottweiler wasn't trained properly, he'd fucking kill me. But he's a good boy and he's trained. I put a lot of thought... Fuck this yeah. question. Nobody cares about the so question, bro. I just eat food because it tastes good. Oh, so, so, so. I would kill an animal. Oh, fuck yeah, I'd kill an animal. I'd kill an animal in multiple possibilities. If a lion's gonna go kill a baby, I'd probably kill an fuck animal. Fuck yeah. Hell I'd yeah. Do I'd kill a fucking animal. chicken just to eat it, bro? Okay. Fuck yeah, I don't give a fuck. If I could oh, look at the vegan. Oh, she's getting all mad. She's like, oh my god, you talk about lions in Africa? That is so unrealistic. Something to prevent killing them besides eating them? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying too, man. Like, see, like I was in fucking, uh, in the fucking woods with my jeep one day. You know, I'm going off roading. I see a big old bear coming at me. If there's a way I could fucking stop the bear with the materials that I had and not kill him, I'd fucking do it. But if I had to kill a bitch, he's going fucking down. He's going fucking yeah, down. Like Fuck him. Something that we could do to. Okay, I want to see the vegan scope. They're, they're, they're but yeah, they're gonna. Why does I mean the but think about this. question talking about would I kill an animal? Yeah, exactly. If you were in a situation. There aren't lions running around downtown LA. No, but guess what, dude? Not only are you not the center of the universe, downtown LA is not where I live. I guarantee you 900 billion percent, no, it's like, you know, probably like 99.998 percent of the billion world's population does not live in downtown LA. If you live in a fucking area that rabbit animals are around, if you live in Africa, the Saharas, there's going to be fucking shit trying to kill you. Right. And I was in a hike. If you go to fucking, if you're in Canada and you're going off-roading or some shit, there's going to be bears. Guess the fuck what? I'm going to shoot that fucking bear if I have to. And there's, there's mountain lions that come up there and, and kill people. You know that, right? That's in Orange County. You know, that, that's, not, that's not in the jungle in Africa. Fuck yeah. That's not an everyday. Bro, tell it to all your fucking hippie friends who hike all the damn time, you dumb bitch. What the fuck do you mean? Bro, all those fucking hippies back in the 70s who used to fucking, like, hitchhike every fucking day. They used to go fucking, yeah, trailing and shit. Bro, that's not every day. What the fuck? Most people probably live in a nice area. They probably get off work, 
grab their dog and go for a nice walk. Guess the fuck what? If they go off road and a hitchhike or a, a hike, guess the fuck what? That's an everyday situation. But, 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 but You're getting fucking down. triggered. Not wanting to kill hikers. You fucking bitch. Yeah. Sorry. Yes. And there's a mountain lion. Oh, I love I love his response. I have to be aware of the fact that I'm in mountain lion territory and be like. Bitch, there is no mountain lion territory. If you got a gun, guess what? Your fucking brain is the territory. If your brain can comprehend buying a gun, putting a gun together, putting bullets in that fucking gun, shooting a mountain lion and attacking you, that's your fucking territory. And guess what? I'm gonna fucking shoot this motherfucker thing if it comes at me. Like, I'm okay with the risk. Because to be honest... Well, yeah, because when I go to hike, I take a risk to die. It's like, you know what? Hmm, man, I really want to go take a hike today. Fuck, maybe I could not die. Hmm... You know what, I'm just going to go with possibly, there's like a 10% chance of dying, I'm going to take that I'm risk. No. With a gun. I you should hike with a gun. My friend, you, you don't hike with a hiking pole? I can, <laughs> I I can don't pull against a mountain lion? Uh, brother, let's look, okay, I can't really, oh shit. Okay, let me do this quickly because I got some bad shit over there. Hehe, <laughs> yeah, buddy. Mountain lion. Come on. Okay. Put this screen up. Bro, this is a mountain lion. Well, it depends if it's a male or female. But, yeah, I'm pretty sure you can beat the fuck out of these things. Depending on how fucking smart you are, don't fucking wait for them to attack you. You fucking, A, you walk towards them with the aggressive stance, and that gives them a fucking sense of fear. B, you fucking bring a gun with you. Oh, that's ASMR and shit. I, I don't think you're right. I, I just, I just want to say, like, e even if I did, and even if my attempt were to be successful, I would feel... Awful. You should. You should feel awful for being a fucking pussy. Grow some fucking balls with your, you know, take some of this fucking hair off your mouth and fucking your fucking white ass fucking eyebrows. Put on your fucking dick and balls down here, brother. You need some down there, brother. Well, but your, your feelings are your, your foundation and for your belief. 100%. 100%. 100%. Yeah, we are animals. Sure. But guess the fuck what? We have a brain. What makes one person more valuable to, to another? Is it your relationship to that person? No, not technically. No, not really. Because, like, if you're a cop, motherfucker, you shoot people if they're hurting other people. It, it, it's not like, you know, if you fucking, if you're a cop and you get a call for 911 dispatch and all of a sudden you see fucking some dude jumping at a chick or another dude with a fucking pole or some shit, you're probably going to pop him once in the leg or something to, like, incapacitate him. It's not due to your relationship. It's about being a fucking human being and looking out for one another. If you are not aggressive and you get forced on by an aggressive person, I'm gonna fucking f kill the or not try not to kill the aggressive person. But I'm gonna stop the aggressive person. It would, yeah, it would probably be. So if, for example, I raise an animal in the wild, it's like an animal I built a relationship with, and that animal now threatens the life of the human being that I don't know, that I've known that animal its entire life. What makes killing that animal as just cause okay as opposed to saving that life? Um, well, f for starters, if you're raising an animal, unless you have, like, a concealed area, or if, you know, you live on a private farm, you probably shouldn't just let it run out for free all the damn time. I got a dog. I let it bitch ass out outside probably about 15, 20 minutes a time. Guess what? There's a fucking fence, you stupid dwit. I have a, I have a longer relationship with that. Why guess the I fuck what? Before I'd save that person. <laughs> because I, it's about relationship. <laughs> no, it's not about relationship, you stupid fuck. It's about fucking hierarchy. A fucking person's life takes more fucking potential than an animal life. I'm not gonna lie, to be honest. If my dog was getting fucking attacked on somebody, I'd probably shoot the person and let him go, though, but fuck it. But the thing is, I'm not raising a fucking dog to attack somebody. He's a good guard dog, and he can probably help to be a PTSD dog. But guess the fuck what? I don't raise him to fucking kill people. He don't attack people. I don't. The worst he's ever done to somebody was bite me in the arm when we were playing. Guess the fuck what? Let's go play time, you pussy. Oh, I'm a person as an animal. I correct. Think I save that person. <laughs> because I, it's about relationship. You, you, you kill a person over an animal. I correct. Think I, yeah. Because I believe human beings are animals. Now I see humans at a different level, but maybe you yeah, exactly. At the same level as a person. I we see it very different. Here. You're fucking retarded. If there was not human beings to set, bro, where the fuck are you? You're in a building. Guess what? Fishes can't build this. Gorilla, fucking 
grizzly bears can't build this. So your stupid fucking a uh, those wear pants you're wearing, if you didn't make them, you, you gotta put them back, man. That shirt you're wearing, those fucking dreads you're doing, if you have anything used to make you look how you look that's made by human use, get the fuck out. You can't wear it, dude. Because apparently humans are at the same level of a fish. You're a fucking idiot. It costs more than it should to eat healthy. Fuck yeah, it does. It's more expensive to eat healthy. I don't think it's too expensive. Fuck, no, it's expensive when you're poor like me, brother. And I'm trying to frequent more, but, but sometimes, you know, you can go spend Got $20 for me. here and definitely not get as much. Um, I definitely want to see that. You know, maybe that'll encourage people to eat a little healthier. If you can go grab that fresh fruit and fresh veggies for five, ten bucks, you know? Hey, five, ten bucks for fucking vegetables? What the fuck? Oh my god, I'm thinking like 30 cents for a fucking apple. Uh, our culture as a society is just ingrained towards like the fast food culture. Is just fuck cheap yeah. And, and accessible. Because guess what? But we all I got fucking work and lives, bro. We can't just go around fucking, oh, I get off of work. I gotta do chores around the house. I gotta go outside work on this. I gotta go on the yard. What the fuck do you think we're gonna do? We're just gonna fucking spend 30 minutes cooking a fucking meal? Hell no. Half the time if you're cooking a meal, you put it in like a crock pot of fucking... You know, the oven, shit, dude. We go sh do other shit. We have more of a established, like, medical basis on what's healthy and what's not healthy. And to get that content and to have it be tasty as well is, is expensive. I'm running in. I have so much to say. It of course you do, because you're a fucking woman. Well, that's not, okay, that's not sexist. You're a woman feminist and you're fucking vegan, bro. You can't go a fucking minute without telling somebody you're vegan. Shut the fuck up right now. I don't want to hear it. It does not cost more money to be vegan. That is a myth. No, it isn't. Because technically, a vegan is living naturally off the earth. But guess what? Not just that. You can't eat pesticides. Foods grown with pesticides. Because guess what? That could be used. I don't know what they do. I think they can like do some type of like kill and destroy bugs and shit and put them into pesticides and kill I don't know how that shit works. I really don't care. So you have to eat organic. A fucking honey crisp apple organic per pound costs four ninety nine a pound. Bro, a fucking apple weighs about a pound and a half. I ain't gonna eat six dollar fucking apples. Suck my suck my ass, brother. Fuck you. It takes planning. Yes, the no. convenience is less. Can you grab a hamburger at McDonald's? For sure. For 99 cents. A convenience what? is less. Can you grab a hamburger at McDonald's? For I think she's trying to say hamburger. It takes planning. Yes, the convenience is less. Can you grab a hamburger at McDonald's? Yeah, she just hamburger. I thought she was trying to say a pomegranate at McDonald's. I'm like, where the fuck do you live there? You get pomegranates, motherfucker. McDonald's, for sure. For 99 cents. Hell but can't, yeah. how much lentils can you buy? The issue is... Who the fuck eats just lentils? Your your meal. All right. So what's co what comes in a cheeseburger? Um, bun, which contains like starch, which contains cornmeal, yeast, water. Um, hmm. What comes in the meat? Oh, fucking like McDonald's meat. We don't know what's in that shit. So uh, stay out of that. Um, cheese. Uh, it's another thing that we don't know about McDonald's yet. What comes in their cheese? All right, now on to the next one. And um, like all this shit, like pickles. Ketchup, mustard, motherfucker. There's like eight things to have a burger. The fuck do you mean? How much do lentils can you buy for? It's like, I don't plan on just eating fucking lentils, you dumb bitch. I, I plan on eating a fucking meal. I'm trying to live like a king up in here, bro. I gotta put the protein, the carbs, and the fats back in me that I lose due to work, due to school, due to being a fucking hardworking American. America, America, fuck yeah. That goes for anybody else, you know, like if you're a hard-working Russian dude, yeah, fuck yeah, get that fats, proteins, carbs, brother, you need that shit. Capitalism. Like that, okay, but can't, how much lentils can you buy? Nobody fucking eats just lentils, bitch. The issue is capitalism. Like that is what is keeping us where we are. It's not that. Oh, so she's a feminist. She hates Donald Trump. And she's a fucking vegan. Oh, you can, oh, I just looked, you can see him getting pretty mad. Um, it's not about the fucking government, you dumb bitch. It's about us wanting the will to change, you stupid bitch. That humans are smarter and they're going to come up with this technology. The technology exists. It is there. We can feed so many people. It is ca capitalism. Actually, no. Um, we can't feed everybody off the world off of organics, foods, and all that shit. Because I took a class back in, I think, two semesters. Last semester. 
about English composition, and we were learning about so many things when it comes to the pollution and the world, um, the big market. I don't know what the fuck the company was. There's a big fucking vegetable plant, 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 whatever, like factory. I don't know what the fuck the name is. Let's look it up. Um, big crop company. Dude, if I can, uh, dude, I need another name. Monsanto. There we go. It's Monsanto, bro. Here we go. Um, bro. What was it? Oh yeah, we were learning about Monsanto and how they do GMOs and all that shit. Bro, we cannot feed all of the world off of just plants. Unless you're eating fucking grass. Go outside and eat some grass. And factory farming. And most of these companies that are these people, it is factory farming. What does that sound like? A whole lot of fucking GMOs. Capitalism and factory farming. And most of these companies that are selling us products that are like shitty food, they don't give a fuck about no. you. Yeah, the people who fucking sell you goddamn lettuce don't give a fuck, bro. They're out there to make money too. You guys gotta fucking learn this shit, bro. Not everybody out here to fuck, uh, bro. If I go give my fucking neighbor lettuce compared to a burger, you think I give a fuck which one she eats? No. She's gonna fucking eat it and enjoy it because it's fucking food. But guess what, brother? I really don't give a fuck which one she enjoys. If she pays me a buck for each, I'll give her whatever the fuck she wants. At all. Yeah. Period. Someone's sitting on the island somewhere. Oh, yeah. Like, just stacking bread. And they're probably... This fast food shit. Really if you really think that a big corporation owner literally just goes out on vacation and lives on a beach and lives on a yacht, you're fucking retarded. The company would have no growth. They would have, like, oh, yeah, they pay this. No. Big owners of companies take charge because you think this rich dude, he, he just, no, he got rich easy, man. You know, he didn't work his ass off to build this company. If he didn't do this, he didn't. bro, the dude worked his fucking ass off to get to the top of that company or if he built that company from ground up. He's not just going to fucking throw the lifeline of the company into some random dude's hand just because he says, if you pay me a million dollars, I'll make sure this company goes to the top side. He's like, bro, I don't give a fuck how, many money, how much money I pay you. I want to fucking work it myself because guess what i care about this business more than you you just care about the money that's going to keep you in the business i care about the business because i started it from the ground up healthy food too. Yeah, yeah they're probably eating real good they're, they're, probably eating they're eating real good yeah they're probably eating fucking food and meat and shit not fucking vegetables yeah. Yeah. Man, you know you know I'm, a, I'm down for some stew with some like carrots some cabbage some potatoes some onions mm, yay i'm not eating any of that shit you go to certain neighborhoods, certain areas, you don't see the same fast food. You don't see yeah. the same restaurants. Mm -mm. And it's all for a reason. You know, Accessibility. It's, it's, I mean, yeah. If that's yeah, they're not going to fucking put a goddamn McDonald's in the middle of fucking asshole country, brother. They're going to put it right downtown L.A. where uh, like 30 of them in two corners so people can fucking get them, you dumb bitch. It's all about prospect of population. What the fuck? How hard is this to understand? It's a good point. It's like they don't have, why is there many healthy stores in the hood? All probably because there's not a billion people living in the hood compared to downtown LA, you stupid fuck. How come exactly. I can't like get an option? Why is there liquor store everywhere? Exactly. And it's true, it's like you're Oh, and yeah, we learned about this too also in that English comp, comp class. Big companies, you know, you know kind of like big tobacco, that stupid shit. Um, they do take, they take research of what each little city population how much they make, and what they spend their most stuff on. If I'm going down to fucking, let's say, Brooklyn. I don't even fucking know where Brooklyn is. I, I mean, I know where it is. It's New York. But I don't know, like, the fucking place. Like, go down to downtown Brooklyn, put your shit ever, and 80% of the fucking family's household's money is spent on booze. They're going to fucking pull, like, 30 liquor shops there because that's where they're going to get their fucking money. Like I said earlier, I don't give a fuck what I'm selling you, what you like. As long as you're giving me money and I make a profit, I can't give a fuck less about you. To tell another human that you give a fuck about what they eat, you're either fucking lying or you're fucking insufferable because there is no way that you're going to focus on somebody else that you really shouldn't focus on more than yourself. Oh, like, accidentally hit mute. If I get an option, why is there liquor store everywhere? Exactly. And it's true. It's like you have, when you break it down, there's like malicious intent to dehormonize yeah. and like lower the vibration of certain Guess people. Guess what? They don't give a fuck. Like I said, I don't give a fuck if I ruin a family. A four because the guy decides to buy alcohol. He his fucking money is his shit. 
I don't, I'm not going to go around and be like, tell them, you, sir, cannot have alcohol. That's just, that's just the way it rolls, man. You just can't have alcohol. No, that's not fucking, what, what, the, what? Then that's just, like, not even freedom. Like, that's not even what America is. It's about freedom. Sure. In certain areas. And it's like, that's a part of it, too. It's like, what am I contributing to? Sure. I'll say this. You know, when I was 11 years old, my father passed away from his second heart attack. He was diabetic. He was pissing out of a tube. I watched him deteriorate my youngest years of my life. For like years and years, just deteriorate, taking pharmaceutical drugs and just kind of basically dying my mom slowly too. because of what he chose. Oh, my parents passed. God damn it, Mom Santa, you're feeding my mom fucking hamburger. It's like, what the fuck, bit What? To eat. To me, I'd rather spend an extra dollar <laughs> in either organic or something healthy now. No, fucking brother, a dollar for an extra organic, brother, you're looking at usually organic shit. Uh, well, it depends on what you're buying, but usually. The food you would buy at a, a store, like asparagus, apples, oranges, well, oranges are fucking by uh, count, but apples by weight, S Brussels sprouts by weight, cabbage by weight, like a lot of this shit's by weight, brother. It ain't by fucking count, so you're not going to pay a buck more for organic, you're going to pay like six bucks more. And live longer than try to cut corners when, you know. I'm with you. Like the make end. the choice now instead of later. How, dude, I have a feeling like this bitch's mom died from a car accident. She's just like, God damn it, Mom Santa, you fed my mom meat. She fucking, dude, she didn't eat the hamburger on the drive through She wouldn't have fucking died. God damn it, Mom Santa. In like, what the bitch? We, you didn't even tell us which the fuck she died from, did you? Slowly? Passed too. Because of what he chose to eat. To me, she I'd passed too. An Guess dollar what you, <laughs> on what, though? Or something healthy now and live longer than try to cut corners when, you know. I'm with you. Like, the make end, the choice now instead of later. In the because end. my mom was same thing. She yeah. died. She she was eating buckets of ice cream mm. when she passed away. Oh wow! It doesn't sound like a fucking food type then. It sounds like a fucking mount of food, brother. You can eat a billion fucking fruits and vegetables and die. You can't just blame the fucking fruit. You gotta blame the fucking person eating the fruit. She yeah. died. She she was eating buckets. She was eating buckets. Buckets means more than one. Usually a bucket, no, depending on, like, if you're, you're, you literally mean a bucket, that's a gallon of ice cream. You could just mean one quart, you know, you don't know what you mean. I don't know what you mean, I mean. But, like, that's not the fucking food's fault that she ate 30 fucking thousand calories worth of fucking dairy. Of that's not the cow's fault. Mm. When she passed away, she died at 49 years old. Wow. Now. Choose now. Fuck you. <laughs> the more education that we can put out there, just like stuff like this is beautiful. That's what I was most anxious about is learning more of what I'm trying to step into. I don't know if I'll ever fucking give hate up that chick. chicken. She's so I'm yeah. just going to be honest with you. I don't know. I ain't never going to get up chicken, ground beef, fucking pork. You know, I'm eating all the goddamn it because that shit tastes fucking good. It's got good fats, got good I wanna proteins. I want to eat a lot cleaner chicken. Do you guys have like... But guess what? If you buy organic chicken, it's like five. Where, where I work, it's five nine nine a pound for organic chicken. Regular chicken's three nine nine a pound. That's a lot of fucking money. Cause I'm not just eating one pound of chicken. I'm eating like for a whole week, Sheet probably cake. four or five pounds. Of ch probably about a pound of chicken a day and a meal. Like if you're going to work, pound of chicken, a drink, probably a granola bar or something like that. Yeah, that'll be good. But are you fucking kidding me? So six times five. That's about. Since there's no taxes on food, thirty nine point nine six dollars. No, thirty nine point nine five dollars is twenty nine point nine five dollars is how much five pounds of chicken of organic would. Regular it'd be nineteen ninety five. You save ten fucking bucks, brother. Days ever? Hell no. <laughs> Cleaner chicken. Do you guys have like cheat days ever? Hell no. <laughs> I am vegan one hundred percent at the front line, ethical reasons always, always, always and that's why Oh it's so it's about ethics, not about reasoning. Alright. I mean if your ethics don't really prove facts. It's your opinion. I don't think in 24 years I've ever gone back. It was hard to try new things, things I didn't like, found tons of vegan food that was like, oh God, what the fuck are you people eating? <laughs> and then simultaneously realizing that there was options, you know, there's always choices and it's always choices you make. Like you said, you may never give up meat um, fully, 
but it's like you're making a choice. You're at least thinking for yourself and making a decision, and like that's all you can ask people. But that has nothing to do against like vegan versus fucking non-vegan. And I, I've thought about one day, like hmm, maybe I should buy organic chicken. Guess the fuck what? That don't mean I'm thinking about becoming a vegan, brother. I, I thought about like hmm, I'm thinking about becoming a little bit more healthier with myself. That's what it's about, being healthy, not about being a vegan. You can be fat as fuck being a vegan too, eating all this unhealthy shit, brother. You gotta fucking learn that a vegan doesn't just eat. I mean, they only eat like plants and shit. Shit that's. And I don't even understand why you're a vegan, brother. You're killing plants. Plants are literally living creatures. They're not animals, but they're creatures. There's scientific study that proves that animal or er, animals that uh plants are alive, and you're just killing those plants. It's fucking disgusting, dude. I really appreciate each and every one of y'all. Thank you. So much. Thank you. 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 Fuck y'all. I really appreciate y'all. Thank you for coming out. Thank you. Are you sure? Alright, finally. What's up, guys? Done. I am Amari. And I if I would be going there, I'd be going fucking crazy on those vegans because it's just fucking retarded. Like, there's no real reason why. It's just because you're thinking about the fucking, like, oh man, I'm getting triggered. Right, I'm gonna go before I get triggered. But that's my fucking reaction to vegans versus meat eaters, aka vegans versus fucking meat eaters, aka pussies versus men. Okay? Okay. I'm out. Deuces. Hit me with a leg and a sub, brother. Hell yeah, brother.